UCL Bioresource is a major initiative to build up a resource of 10,000 people who are willing to be asked to take part in research into how genes influence disease. Such a simple concept, in fact, marks a huge step forward in medical research and the fight against chronic diseases like dementia and heart disease. UCL Bioresource is just one of an expanding network of centres that form part of the national NIHR Bioresource. Imagine if you were a researcher looking to recruit volunteers with a common genetic variation that occurs in approximately 1 out of 10 people. In fact, you would need to find 500 volunteers simply in order to identify 50 volunteers with a relevant genetic variation. These volunteers could take years to recruit. This lengthy recruitment process could impact on the feasibility of the study and may mean that studies are unable to take place at all. Some genetic patterns are very rare, so you may have to end up recruiting a hundred times more patients to get the small number that you want to study. So bioresource makes this a much more streamlined and efficient process. This is somewhere where you can go and identify these individuals and undertake this clinical trial in a, in a time that would be much, much shorter than if you were trying to do this ad hoc, if you like, by just by aiming to go into a general medical clinic, for example, and saying, excuse me, do you have this condition? Um, by the way, we need to do a blood test and see if, you're, if you fit in with this set of criteria. So in other words, we've got this resource, we know what, those, what that profile is, we know what the clinical story is, and we can then go back to you and say, aha, you are exactly the sort of person that we need to try and recruit for this kind of trial. When researchers request volunteers with a particular genotype, your sample will be analysed along with all the others in the National Bioresource Database. This is when selection by genotype takes place. Additional criteria about phenotype, such as age, gender and lifestyle choices, may also be used to select you for a study. The unique benefits of the National Bioresource is that the hard work in sourcing and consenting volunteers has already been done. One of the brilliant things about the National Bioresource is that while it offers researchers a pool of volunteers that can be searched by both the phenotype and genotype, it also makes their identifiable data invisible to researchers through a process we call pseudonymization. Whilst we may not hold information on an individual's complete genetic profile, each time we receive a request from a research team, we will look for that particular gene of interest. In other words, researchers we will only ever see a section of your genetic profile, one piece of a large jigsaw that makes up each of us. A potential volunteer might see an article, get a leaflet or see a display in the local community centre or GP clinic. Or, the potential volunteer might be waiting at a clinic to see a consultant and be approached by a bioresource nurse. The volunteer then fills in and signs a simple consent form in which they agree to a number of things, including being contacted about involvement in future research studies. Then, the volunteer provides a small sample to define their genotype. This is a sample of your saliva or your blood, just a tablespoonful in four small tubes, which are all identified by your unique barcode. Bioresource streamlines the entire process of recruitment and selection of patients, um, which we hope will then translate into quicker uh, development of new therapies, which in turn will benefit us as researchers, but ultimately also patients, so that they can get the, the new treatments in clinic faster. I thought it would be all very scientific and was very, everybody was very friendly and warm and welcoming. And it made you feel that, yes, this is something important. Your file of blood was going to help in the process of um, disease elimination and um, identification of various components. I became involved in um, medical research uh, because of family and friends who were diagnosed with various illnesses and realised um, how important a subject this was. <laughs>